All right, hey guys, you wanna hear a welcome to my loot from 20,000 gargoyles, which I killed on my alt. And if we check my Slayer kill log, I have killed exactly 20,000 gargoyles. So, in my inventory, you can actually see what I took with me on every single trip. I didn't take the Slayer gem with me, except for the very last trip, because I wanted to get exactly 20,000 kills, that's why I brought it with me. But I have my Gotham Spear for healing. I have my nose peg because when I run to the gargoyles, I need to go past the bear inspectors and you need to have a nose peg or like a slayer helm in order to get past them. And then I always drop this nose peg after that, so I had to bring a new one every trip. Then I have eight super combo potions in my inventory. And this would usually last me until my inventory would fill with runite ore. Sometimes my inventory would fill with runite ore a bit earlier than I run out of these super combats because the way I use them is that. When the boost like disappears completely, that's when I drink another dose. That's why 8 is enough. I think even 6 would be enough with my current stats. Because they did go up by quite a bit in 20,000 kills. Of course, don't forget your rock hammer. And then the teleport to house is for repairing my armor in the beginning of a new trip. Um, I don't have an armor stand in my own house. I would always hop to world 30 and go to some other guy's house in Remington, I could always find someone there. There's a lot of um, hosters in Remington, and since my smithing is 82, um, it was actually pretty useful to repair my barrows gear at an armor stand instead of um, repairing them at Bob, because they cost a lot less. And yeah, looking at my gear, I brought a VIP and defender switch. I have a fire cape an honorable blessing even though I don't really use prayer. A ring of wealth is really important for all the coin drops. And uh, I got dragon boots because I'm budget. Anyways, let's look at the loot tab. So this is the loot tab, um, except for the nature runes. So this is the loot tab. Here we have 49.3 mil coins from all the Alex and all the coin drops. But anyways, this is the loot from 20,000 gargoyles. So that's 79 mil. Anyway, how much GP did I use on supplies during um, 20,000 gargoyle kills? The total amount is 4.6 mil. I used 1,668,000 on Barrow's armor repairs. I used 2.5 mil on super combats and super combats make it worth it because you kill them a lot faster even though you AFK when you're on your alt account. And then I used 404,000 GP on nature runes, 12,000 GP on house tabs and around 8,000 GP on nose pegs. So supply cost 4.6 mil. If we take that amount away, this is how much I profited in 20,000 gargoyle kills. That is 74.4 mil. Of course, I still need to sell them. I am going to keep the gold ore for my main though, because I'm going to train smithing at Blast Furnace. But 74.4 mil profit, that's not bad at all. So dividing the amount by 20,000, which is the amount of kills that I did, I got 3,720 GP per kill. And I was averaging 17,000 XP an hour with my gear with my level of activity and super combo potions, the way I use them. And I was making 455k GP an hour on my alt account without a task on Gargoyles. So I'd say that's not bad at all. But anyways, I guess that's it for this loot video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful, whether or not you want to kill Gargoyles. I think they're pretty chill, pretty AFK. I just didn't want to kill Vyverns, so that's why I got to 75 to kill some gargoyles. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.